Hello. This is the Link Master. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to show you guys my practice area today. Um, I wish I could just flip the camera, but it doesn't want to let me do it. So I'm going to edit this right here. Three, two, one, switch. All right, so let's go around the room. I've got some snare drums here. I've got a Slingerland uh, Chrome Over Steel, 14 inch by five and a half uh, snare drum. I've got a Pearl Piccolo 13 by three or three and a half aluminum. I believe it's aluminum or maybe it's steel. I have no idea. I haven't looked in forever. It is, it just says Piccolo. Well, whatever it is, it's that. Um, I've got some like B8 Sabian hats with some uh, music stuff from school last semester. Random stuff everywhere. <laughs> I did not clean this area. Uh, I've got my Drumeo VIP binder on top of the Ron Danette uh, Drumeo snare and a snare that I basically restored from nothing. Uh, I've got an old drum head case that I use for storing random stuff in. Um, this right here is the kit that I have stored for gigging and whatnot. Ready to go. Uh, so it's a Sonar Select Force in natural maple. Uh, I've got my Evans towel. Um, my AAX Thin 19 inch crash, if you can see that. Uh, I've got some timpani mallets and some uh, brass mallets that I got uh, during lockdown because I needed them for next semester. Because it's always good to have different sticks for different things. I've got a pair of uh, Sabian HH Vanguard 14 inch hats. Uh, with my trusty, um, what do you call them? Earmuffs. You know, in case I'm not using my ears, I just use regular headphones. It's there. Uh, plants, because, you know, plants. Um, got some light. It does that. Oh, the switch is kind of faulty. <laughs> there it is. It's like a strobe show. There we go. It's actually working now, but yeah, it adds a lot of light, especially when I'm doing uh, videos and stuff. Uh, I've got an overhead mount for, I can either put my camera or my GoPro, I've got another light over there. Anyway, I've got my kit right here. Um, oh yeah, that's my bag that I use for school, for all my classical timpani stuff. So it's got like classical snare sticks, uh, some brushes, a bunch of different mallets, etc., 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 etc. That is the Galaxy bag by Humes and Berg. Excellent bag, especially if you just take regular sticks with it. Um, you can grab sticks easily if you drop one. So I've got my uh, Rock and Sock Throne. It's down right now because I just had it down when I had to reach up to get my camera, the SD card at the GoPro. Uh, this is my Sonar Select Force. Uh, they don't make this anymore. It's been replaced by the Sonar a a AQ2. But uh, I got this in 2016, I believe. So it's an 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, 14, and 16. Um, the snare is in that bag in the middle right there. It's a 14 by 5.5. I've got the Sonar Ascent Beach 14 by 6 snare drum. Or six and a half, I mean, 14 by six and a half. Uh, bass drum it is 22 inch by 17 and a half, I believe. And I've got Pearl rack system with some uh, sonar and a Gibraltar clamp right there. Uh, Sabians are uh, symbols are Sabian. Uh, I've got the uh, AA Middle X hats, uh, XSR Concept Crash 17 inch, the Mike Portnoy Mid Stack. Uh, signature stacks, max stacks. Uh, I've got the 18 inch XSR uh, fast crash and I've got the AA 
Robel dry ride over there with two uh, slap cats on them. Uh, microphones, so I got a Shure SM57 on the snare drum and a CAD mic kit on the overheads and the toms and then a D, <laughs> that had, needs to be replaced, a D, AKG D112 kick drum mic. Um, oh yeah, I've also got uh, my X hats, the HHX 13-inch uh, groove hats. Uh, radio. I'm continuing now because my phone decided to stop recording because I accidentally hit the Siri button. Yay! Blank CDs. What is that? Why? Um, so, yep, these are the in-ears that I use. There it is. The ZST, I uh, forgot, what is it? ZST? KZ. KZ in-ears with the ZST model. The, that's what the box looks like by KZ. Uh, so I've got... Lots of flash drives and, and stuff, random stuff here. Oh yeah, I won this little drum dial at VIP week when I went in 2017. Uh, we had like a hair, a hair, a hair. Yeah, that makes sense. Snare head tensioning competition. I think I won with like 12 seconds or something like that. It's basically to loosen a snare drum head all the way from like finger tight. And, I don't know, I've got fast fingers. Anyway, um, or seat. So all my Tom mics are going into this little Behringer mixer, which then are going uh, into my, um, that, uh, PreSonus Fire Studio here. This Tom mic, I got the kick drum, snare, the toms all here, and then my overheads here. So I'm daisy chaining so that I can save room. But yeah, I mean, if I can remove just one, like the eight inch Tom, then I usually put the rest of the Tom mics here since I usually have four Toms being used at once. Um, just a cheap refurbished HP computer running Windows 7, um, cause I like Windows 7. What is that? Is that a stand? What is that? Oh base of a cymbal stand. Why is it? I have no idea why it's there. Uh, I've got a little tripod for recording pad stuff. In case somebody asks me a question, I've got some white lithium grease in my drill with the Evans attachment on the end of it because I was changing, um, adding these little things right there to all of my drums, um, which are super, 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 super handy because um, these Hendrix tension rod washers they last a long time. They last a lot longer than the Gibraltar ones. Um, got a little lamp from uh, Walmart, 1999. Illuminates my room. I got a drum head that I picked up from seeing Ash Pearson, if you've seen his lessons in Drumeo. Um, he has a band called Revocation, if you can make that out. Because <laughs> it's, you know, death metal writing of course uh so yes yeah, this is where like i have my little practice space for kick pad my, my drumeo pad a little thing to keep my coffee and my whatever ipad music stand and a mirror so you can see me talking to the camera no so i can make sure my hands are doing the same thing um i have this old school pearl forum kit set up like this because I was practicing timpani stuff uh, last semester, which I'm going to have to do again this semester. Uh, so I just got to see if I can find like a 10 inch Tom or, or like a, another 12 inch or 13 inch Tom or 14 or something to add to it. So I'm going to have all four. Uh, I've got another snare drum there. That's a CB 700 snare that I refurbished from, uh, from church, restored it. And I used it for when I was doing my online drum classes with my teacher from the university when everything went into lockdown. Got my cymbal case in there. I was just taking some cymbals out so I could use them for the play along uh, for Warning Little Robinson. I've got the Artisan 22 inch Elite and then behind that is the HH uh, Powerbell Ride, I believe. 
I've got a dream symbol right there. I've got Wuhan China and some old crack symbols behind that. Classical guitar right there. And a K uh, 20 inch custom dry ride. Yeah, that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, it's not mine, it's for the church. Um, in this bag, we've got HHX uh, Phoenix ride. We've got SR2 20, 21 or 22 inch, like crash ride kind of thing. Um, got some uh, drum keys and some snare weight uh, plastic tabs, which are kind of cool. Um, these are the big fat snare drum. Um, they go on your drums to make them sound like they're from the 70s. I've got a multitude of different practice pads and stuff there. There's my P4 pad. Uh, got a couple sticks, old drum head. Uh, my toolbox of random assortments of things, you know, parts and whatnot. So I gotta find straps for those finger symbols because I just found them the other day. Um, and then this has like all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, sticks. Uh, I've got more like big fat snare drum accessories all in there. Jingly stuff. I've got a couple of mics, Evans sound off pad. I got my yes because Christmas. Um, <laughs> I've got like uh, hardware attachments here, cowbell attachments, and then I've got like my really small splashy bell, uh, whatever symbol stuff I have. And then I've got my bookcase here with all my books that I have procured. Uh, this basically is almost everything that I use for college, except for like the Joost, Joost Nickel stuff and the Gary Chafee stuff. But most of this is like percussion, timpani, snare drum, you name it. It's classical stuff, jazz stuff, whatever. Um, and then I've got the drumming stuff down here. Um, drummer's Bible in there as well. And I got like some super... Joel Rothman, if you're a drum teacher, Joel Rothman's going to find out and send you a ton of books that you really don't need. <laughs> um, a couple of stands, but that's it. That's it. Um, I, don't know what to, I don't know what else to say. That's my practice space. I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you that. So this is... Um, I got this when I went to the Daniel Glass Jazz Intensive in New York City. I won the competition for that. Uh, that was in 2016. Uh, he held a competition through Drumeo and you had to like do this play along and uh, pfft, I don't know how, but I guess I won. So there's my name. Uh, but yeah, it was a really fun experience. Um, I wouldn't have traded it for anything. Um, so yeah. That's my practice space, and uh, I'm going to get some water and go practice because, you know, it's the right thing to do and stuff. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> this, You know what this all always reminds me of? It's like, dinner's ready, soup's on. Call the kids in from the farm because dinner's ready. Or something. I don't know. I'm out of my mind. Um, so yeah, that's our practice space. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a little behind the scenes. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So that's it. Goodbye. Sayonara. This is the Link Master.